Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about the main components of the CPU cabinet. Hey, Sia, can you guess what it is? This is CPU, right? No, it's CPU cabinet. Miss, I want to see inside it. Yeah, sure, Sia. Let's recall first. A desktop computer has four basic components, one, monitor, two, keyboard, three, mouse, four, CPU cabinet. Let's understand what's the CPU cabinet. A CPU or computer cabinet is an enclosure with fitted, fixed, or removable side panels and doors that protect the internal components within a cabinet. The main parts of the computer are housed within its casing, often referred to as a computer chassis, tower, system unit, base unit, or simply case. Excluding the external parts like mouse, monitor, keyboard, etc. A computer cabinet serves as an encloser that protects internal components within a cabinet. It means CPU and CPU cabinet are same? No, Sia. I have searched for your answer. The cabinet represents the entire box including all the components, whereas, the chip that does real processing is called a CPU. Okay, dear. Let's learn about the main components of CPU cabinet, which are motherboard, CPU, video card, RAM, hard disk drive, power supply. Motherboard. A motherboard is the main circuit board in a computer that connects all of its internal components and provides power to them. It's also known as the main board, main circuit board, MB, MOBO, base board, or system board. Now, test your knowledge. What is an Apple computer's motherboard called? And the answer is logic board. Now, let's learn about the functions of motherboard. 1. It connects components. The motherboard connects the CPU, memory, graphics card, and other hardware. 2. It provides power. The motherboard provides power to each component. 3. It facilitates communication. The motherboard allows the components to communicate with each other. 4. It connects to external peripherals. The motherboard provides connectors for external peripherals like Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and graphics cards. Oh my god! The motherboard is usually the largest board inside the computer's casing. It's made of a hard sheet of non-conductive material, usually plastic, with thin lines of copper or aluminum foil that form the circuits. And the bonus learning. There are different types of motherboard and the most common type of motherboard is ATX. Here, A stands for Advanced, T stands for Technology, and X stands for Extended. Different types of motherboards are Standard, ATX, Micro, ATX, Micro, ITX, Nano, ITX, Pico, ITX. Now, it's time to explore the CPU. A central processing unit, CPU, is the main component of a computer that controls the flow of data and instructions. It's also known as the central or main processor. But, what are the functions of CPU? Sia, the functions of CPU are 1. It processes data. The CPU takes in data input and transforms it into usable information output. 2. It runs the operating system and apps. The CPU runs the computer's operating system and apps. 3. It manages other computer operations. The CPU regulates the computer's internal functions, oversees power consumption, 
and allocates computing resources. Hey buddies! Can you guess? CPU is known by what other names? Time up! And the answer is processor, microprocessor, central processor, brain of the computer, core. Now, let's explore the video card. A video card, also known as a graphics card, is a hardware component that generates images, videos, and animations for a computer monitor. Functions of video card 1. Graphics Processing A graphics card's graphics processing unit, GPU, handles graphics-related tasks like rendering graphics, effects, and videos. 2. Visual Data Processing A graphics card works with the CPU to process and output visual data. 3. Real-time Graphics Modern graphics cards can generate realistic 3D graphics in real-time. Can you guess the correct answer? How many types of video cards are there? And the answer is there are two types of video cards, integrated GPUs and discrete GPUs. Time to learn about RAM. Random access memory. RAM is a short-term memory bank that stores data needed to run applications and open files. It's a fundamental component of computing devices, including desktops, tablets, smartphones, and IoT devices. Miss, my head is spinning so badly. What's this IoT now? IoT stands for Internet of Things which is a network of physical objects that are connected to the Internet and can communicate with each other and other systems. IoT devices, also known as smart objects, can include household items, wearables, and industrial machinery. Some examples are smart homes, smart cities, and wearables such as Fitbit, smartphones, health monitors, transportation, smart manufacturing, automation industries. Thank you, miss. My all doubts are clear now. Many cheers to you, my dear. Your curiosity and eagerness to learn have taken you so far, truly commendable. It's time to learn the functions of RAM. 1. RAM stores data that the CPU needs to access quickly. 2. RAM allows for both reading and writing of data. 3. RAM is volatile, meaning it loses its contents when the power is turned off. 4. RAM replaces old data with new data to support the next task. Now, let's do some brainstorming. How many types of RAM are there? There are two types of RAM, static RAM and dynamic RAM. Time to explore hard disk drive. A hard disk, also known as a hard disk drive, HDD, is a device that stores data on a computer using magnetic storage. It's a non-volatile storage drive, which means it can retain data even when the device is powered off. Functions of hard disk 1. HDDs store digital content like documents, pictures, music, videos, and programs. 2. HDDs are non-volatile, meaning they can retain data even when the device is not powered on. 3. HDDs are reliable for backups and normal computer processes. But how many types of drives are there? Yes, I know the answer. There are two types of drives, hard disk drive, solid state drive. 
Last but not least, time to learn and explore the power supply unit. A power supply unit, PSU, is a computer hardware component that converts alternating current, AC, from the wall outlet into direct current, DC, for the computer's internal components. But I don't understand. What is alternating current? And also, what is direct current? Alternating current is the flow of electricity that changes direction regularly many times a second. Whereas, direct current, DC, is an electric current that flows in a single direction. It's the type of current that powers batteries and other devices that run on batteries. Examples of gadgets that run on battery power include mobile laptops, phones, flashlights, remote controls, digital cameras, toys, digital watches, etc. I am feeling amazing to learn new things with lots of ease. That's great, my dear. Let's complete the session with functions of power supply unit. 1. Conversion, converts AC to DC. 2. Regulation, maintains a constant output voltage. 3. Distribution, supplies power to the motherboard, CPU, GPU, and storage drives. 4. Protection, protects against overvoltage, short circuits, and other power issues. 5. The efficiency, optimizes energy consumption to reduce energy bills. Thank you, my viewers. I am grateful to all of you. Keep watching for learning with fun. Please like and subscribe my channel for more informative videos.